karibuni sana wana Captain TV hapa ni Messi Mama mbele ya St John the Evangelist Wellspring this is the statue of St John who is the patron of this parish uh, our parish is called St John the Evangelist Holy Ghost uh, parish majina am Father Patrick Mwania uh, a spiritan who is the father in charge of this uh, parish and I take this opportunity uh, to introduce a very important uh, celebration or rather ceremony that we are looking forward to. This coming Saturday, uh, being the 13th of May, is a day that will never be forgotten uh, by the parishioners of this parish of St. John the Evangelist Holy Ghost Parish because we shall be celebrating uh, the ceremony of the dedication or consecration of our parish church. This church was uh, uh, built some years, more than 20 years ago, and because it has been under construction, it has uh, never been consecrated. But this coming uh, Saturday, we are going to have a big ceremony to celebrate the um, dedication of the church, the opening of our new uh, projects, which is an adoration chapel and a Marian uh, a grotto projects that we have been working uh, on for the last two years and we are very happy and uh, uh, quite excited to see uh, the completion of them and to celebrate with all parishioners. The chief guest will be uh, His Excellency the Nuncio uh, to Kenya and South Sudan uh, assisted by Bishop uh, John Binder, uh, the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Lodwa and all parishioners and friends and uh, uh, people from all walks of life uh, from uh, near and far are invited to join, to join us on Saturday this very important event. Even you, Captain TV, Mekaribisha Sana, so that you can help uh, the people uh, to uh, follow this event. The ceremony will uh, begin at exactly 10 a.m. Sane asubui yo tutaanza ibada ya misa yo ibada ya misa itaanzia nje uh, baadaye kanisa itafunguliwa ndio tuweze kuingia uh, itakuwa ni kutakuwa na kubariki kwa sasa kwa heshima ya Mtume Mkuu tunamwalika Baba Paroko Mheshimu wa Baba Paroko wa hapa Father Patrick aweze kuwakaribisha wote na hasa Mheshimu Mkuu Baba Skofu Mkuu His Excellency Archbishop Hubertus karibu sana Your Excellency Van Megen the Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan uh, friend um, Bishop Binda from the Catholic Diocese of Lodua, our superior of the Holy Ghost Fathers, Father Dominic Gadurito, dear priests, religious men and women, our parishioners, invited guests, God is good, and all the time, to see for Jesus Christ.
Karibuni sana. I take this opportunity uh, to welcome you all to this auspicious occasion. It's a big day for us as uh, parishioners of St. John. It's a day we've been preparing for. It's a day we thank God that it has come. And we thank you all for coming uh, from far and near uh, to join us. Karibuni sana. To shereke pamoja. Ni ndiyo siku ambayo bwana meifanya tuifuraie na tuishangilie. Asandeni na karibuni. Kinachofuata sasa ni unveiling of the plague. Unveiling of the plague. This church was dedicated by His Excellency Hubertus Matthias Maria van Meegen, the Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan, assisted by the Right Reverend John Binder, the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Lodbar, on the 13th of May 2023, Anno Domini, the Feast of Our Lady of Fatima. Kinachofuata sasa ni sherehe kidogo sana ya kuweza kulilis the doves of peace. Na kwa hivyo tunakaribisheni watoto wetu mje hapa kwanza tutalilis pamoja na tuki, wakifanya hivyo basi tupige shangwe deremo na vilegelegele. Kwa hivyo watoto tuweze kukaribia hapa. Hey, tutakuja hapa mbele. Mm. Wataka pozirilisi hivyo zikieda juu tupige makofi na tupige deroma na vigelegele. 1 2 3 tuziweke juu sasa. Kwa sasa kwa heshma kama tumetulia Kwa heshma sasa Asante sana Kwa heshma sasa tunamkabisha Mr. Memia Mr. Memia Abaya tatupa uh, hotuba fupi tu kuhusu parokia yetu Your, your, your Excellency, uh, Reverend uh, Bishop John Binder, all the religious and fellow Christians, I'm going to give only a very short history about this church. The parish in itself was enacted in 1989 by the servant of God, the late Morris Michael Cardinal Otunga, when he was the Archbishop of Nairobi Archdiocese. The parish started its activities to become a parish in 1995. It was started by a group of Christians who worshipped in uh, four centers around here, the Spirit and House, the Passionist, the Capuchin Franciscans, and the Apostles of Jesus Shrine, and of course the Spirit and House. The Spirit and House led that team. When the Christians got together, uh, they did not know exactly how do we form a new parish because there wasn't a parish priest here at that time. So the Bishop Utunga granted us the, the parish priest of Regina Chelly Parish uh, to come and help us to do that. When we got together, uh, there were some uh, 
terms that the long term long term terms that the Christians envisaged for the parish. This were number one is to acquire a plot on which to build the parish. Number two, to build the church. Number three, to build a father's house. And number four, to build a community center. And of course, number five, not least, is to get simultaneously to, with the above to grow and develop the spiritual and the pastoral aspects of the Christians who worship here. This was accomplished because in 1996, the first dedicated priest was uh, appointed, Father Simon Lobon, to lead this parish. Christians realized that what we needed was money because all those activities I mentioned above required money. So they continued holding some harambees every month in order to be able to raise the money. When money was uh, adequate to start building, we invited Bishop Dingimwana and Zeki to come and bless this site and this happened in 1998. After that now, the uh, Christians looked for an architect and his team to start the drawings of the church uh, so that now we can start the procedure. That architect is here, uh, he's Mr. Fred Gojiri, I will ask him to come and just greet you by waving. What I can say is the architect and his team gave us the services of the drawings and the construction of the whole church free of charge. <clears throat> Now, the building then started, and the Christians started moving in and uh, hearing mass in the incomplete church as it was going on. When uh, the architect was going to draw the church, there was, of course, a question of what kind of a church do we want to build? And uh, again, the Christians had the following in mind. First, a secular church so that all the Christians in the church would be able to see the altar from whatever corner they are and they'll be as near as possible to the altar. Number two, a church which didn't have obstructions inside so that Whoever, whatever corner a Christian sat, there was no obstruction between him or her and the altar. And therefore, the church was designed without pillars inside. All the support was done by pillars in the wall. Number three, in designing these pillars, we thought it's good that we put in a religious aspect of it. So 12 pillars were chosen, and we have 12 pillars here. They depict the 12 tribes of Israel and the 12 apostles of Jesus. <laughs> the inside of the church, uh, the roof and the rest of the walls were designed in such a way as to eliminate or minimize echo so that when you're in the church, you don't have echo. That's the other aspect that we had. And uh, lastly, of course, is to provide as much as possible of natural light and the natural ventilation. That is what the earlier Christians who started this church wanted to see. And uh, we hope that it has been achieved up to this point. I think. 
That's all I would like to tell you because of the time. And uh, we thank God that we have reached where we are today and that we have come to have this church dedicated after so many years without dedication. Thank you. Welcome. Tumpigie makofi mazuri sana, founding member Mr. Memia. Kinacho fuata sasa ni cutting of the ribbon. Cutting of the ribbon. Wanao husika tafadhali tukaribie. to pige makofi sana anapo asante sana kwa sasa there will be the symbolic opening baada ya handing over of the keys to the bishop na kwa hivyo tunaomba baba skofu mkuu mahasham Hubertus van Megen awezi kwabidhiwa vifunguo vya kanisa Tupige makofi sana na tumshangilie sana Kwa sasa Asante sana. Na kwa sasa rasmi uh, tunaanza ibada takatifu ya misa. Tunaanza ibada takatifu ya misa na kabla ya invitation by the bishop to enter the church. Tafadhali mpangiliwa kuingia utakuwa kama ifuatavyo. Tutaanza kwanza kabisa na altar service tukianza na cross bearer na other servers baadaye tutakuwa na all the clergy uh, the council brands uh, na vile vile ma deacons hapo liturgical dancers na choir watakuwa nyuma then waheshimiwa ni taifa la Mungu mtakuwa nyuma kabisa <laughs> na kwa hivyo kwa sasa tupate invitation kutoka kwa askofu and please please be with you all in the holy church of god and with your spirit beloved brothers and sisters we have gathered with joy to dedicate this new church by celebrating the lord's sacrifice let us take part in these sacred rites with loving devotion listening to the word of god with faith so that our community reborn from the one font of baptism and nourished at the same table may grow into a spiritual temple and brought together at one altar may advance in the love from on high tutaanza kuingia na other servers then deacons conservants uh mahasham baba askofu binda na baba askofu mkuu nuncio Badai kwaya na litaji kwa dancers na kama nilivyosema waheshimu wa taifa la Mungu mtatufu hata nyuma kwaya tupate wimbo
Sasa need the blessing and sprinkling with holy water. Dear brothers and sisters, as we humbly and solemnly dedicate this house, let us call upon the Lord our God to bless this water he has created, with which we are to be sprinkled as a sign of repentance and a remembrance of baptism and by which the new walls and altar here will be purified. May the Lord support us with his grace, so that, docile to the Spirit whom we have received, we may remain faithful in his church. O God, through whom every creature comes forth into the light of life, you accompany all people with such great love that not only do you nourish them with fatherly care, but you mercifully cleanse them of their sins with the dew of charity and constantly lead them back to, the, to Christ the head. 
For in your merciful plan, you established that those who descend as sinners into the sacred waters to die with Christ should rise free from guilt and be made his members as with him to an eternal reward. Sanctify then, therefore, with your blessing this water you have created that sprinkled on us and on the walls of this church it may be a sign of the cleansing waters of salvation in which we have been washed in Christ and made a temple of your spirit. Grant that with all our brothers and sisters who will celebrate the divine mysteries in this church, we may come at last to the heavenly Jerusalem. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Na kwa sasa tutabarikiwa na maji matakatifu na namuomba Hasham Baba Askofu Binda akiongozwa na Shemasi mmoja atabariki wa Kristo walioko nje na Baba Askofu Mkuu Nuncio mwakilishi wa Pop hapa Kenya na South Sudan atatubariki sisi tulioko hapa ndani kwa hivyo Hasham Baba Askofu Binda kiongozo na shemasi nayo kwaya mtupe wimbo mwafaka wa kuweza kubarikiwa
May God, the Father of mercies, dwell in this house of prayer, and by the grace of the Holy Spirit, cleanse us who are the temple where he dwells, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sasa kwa shangwe na bwembwe na vifijo tutaongozwa na kwaya kwa wibo wa gloria ama utukufu.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, pour out your grace upon this place and extend the gift of your help to all who call upon you, that the power of your word and of the sacraments may strengthen here the hearts of all the faithful. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. May the word of God resound always in this building to open for you the mystery of Christ and to bring about your salvation in the church. Amen. Somo la kwanza Somo katika kitabu cha Nehemia Siku zile naye Ezra Kuhani alileta torati mbele ya mkutano ulioja wanawake na wanaume na wengine wote waliofahamu katika siku ya kwanza wa mwezi wa saba akiwa amesimama upande mmoja wa mahali pawazi akikabili lango la maji Ezra alisoma kutoka humo kitabuni tokea alfajiri hadi adhuhuri mbele ya wanaume na wanawake na watoto walio wakubwa kuelewa na, wa, na, wot, na watu wote walisikiliza kwa makini yote yaliyosomwa kutoka 
katika kitabu cha Torati naye Ezra kuhani akasimama juu ya jukwa la, la miti iliyojengwa kwa kusudi hilo Ezra alifungua kitabu mbele ya macho ya watu wote maana alisimama mahali pa juu zaidi kuliko watu wote watu hao wakasimama wima mara tu alipokifunua kitabu Ezra akamtukuza Bwana Mungu mkuu na watu wote huku wakiwa wameinua mikono yao juu wakaitikia amina amina alafu wakainama chini na kumsujudu Bwana kifudifudi naye Ezra akasoma kutoka katika kitabu cha sheria ya Mungu akiitafsiri ili watu waweze kuelewa kilicho tafsiriwa alafu Nehemia yani gavana na Ezra kuhani mwandishi na walawi waliokuwa wakifahamika na watu waliwaambia watu wote leo ni siku takatifu kwa Bwana Mungu wetu hivyo msiwe na uzuni na wala msilie maana watu wote walikuwa wanalia walipoasikia maneno ya sheria akaendelea nendeni nende, nende, nende mkale chakula bora na vinywaji vitamu na kutenga sehemu kwa wale watu ambao hawakutarisha chochote kwani leo ni siku takatifu kwa Bwana wetu msisikitike leo kwa kuwa furaha katika Bwana ndio nguvu yenu na hilo ndilo neno la Mungu Maskani zako zapendeza kama nini e bwana wa majeshi Zapendeza kama nini E bwana wa majeshi Tamani nyu za bwana hata inataka kuzimia moyo wangu na mwili wangu vina
pata nyumba Namba yuwa yuku pata ke ota Chakue kama kinda yake Kwanguni katika altari zako E bwana wa majeshi Falme wangu na mungu wangu reading from the first letter of Saint Peter. Read yourselves of all malice and all deceit, insincerity, envy, and all slander. Like newborn infants long for spiritual milk, so that through it you may grow into salvation. For you have tasted that the Lord is good. Come to him, a living stone, rejected by human beings, but chosen by God, and precious in the sight of God. And like living stones, let yourselves be built in a spiritual house, to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce his praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were no people, but now you are God's people. You had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. The word of the Lord. Be to Kindly arise for the gospel acclamation. Oh, yeah. 
a stone in Zion, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not put to shame. Jesus, Jesus entered the temple area and drove out all those who engaged in selling and buying there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who were selling doves and said to them, It is written, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you are turning it a den of thieves. The blind and the lame approached him in the temple, and he cured them. When the chief priests and the scribes saw the wondrous things he was doing, and the children crying out in the temple area, Hosanna to the son of David. They were indignant and said to him, Do you hear what they are saying? Jesus said to them, Yes, and have you never read the text? Out of the mouths of infants and nestlings, you have brought forth praise. The Gospel of the Lord. When I was meditating on the gospel that, that we read today from the gospel of Matthew, that gospel starts with the words, Jesus entered into the temple. And I immediately had to think of my own youth. I was born in 1961. And as a little boy, I would accompany my mother as she would go into the village to buy the necessary things for the lunch or dinner. And many times she would enter for a while into the church. Church was always open in those days. Nowadays in my country, 
you need the key to get in. But at that point, it was open. And I always remember with my mother getting in there and the silence that was in the church, mostly somewhere in the afternoon. Maybe it was hot outside and you would come in and you were received by the cool, the coolness of the church. You would smell the humidity of the stones. You would cross yourself with the holy water. And I would walk just after my mother, who then immediately would go into the chapel of the Virgin Mary to light a candle or two, three, four, five, for however many intentions she had to pray for. And we would just sit there, and maybe she would pray part of her rosary. She wouldn't say a word. She would make me little candle as well. And then we would leave again. The church. God's presence. For me as a child, that was very clear that God lived there. No doubt in my mind. The silence, the way the sun was shining through the glass-stained windows, the smell of the church, the smell of incense still hanging there. God lives here. And for little Jesus, it must have been the same. Being child, being son of religious Jews, though they didn't live in Jerusalem, it was a general rule for Judaism that every Jew should at least go to Jerusalem to the temple for the five important festivals of the year. Easter, Pentecost, New Year, the celebration of the boot, and then the celebration of Hanukkah, the last celebration of the year, which we celebrate basically in December, when we as Catholics would celebrate Advent. Hanukkah is about the rededication of the temple, about the temple of the Lord, which is found again and re-blessed. And that is also where the book of today, book of Nehemiah, comes in. It's exactly about that. The Jews who had come back from what is nowadays Iran, from Persia, they had been exiled for 60, 70 years. Then they were released by King Darius and they were allowed to get back into their own land, the Holy Land, only to find it destroyed, looted, burnt down, the temple in ruins. And the first thing the Jews are going to do is to build up their temple. And the book of today is an explanation of what all happened because the Jews, in a sense, had lost their identity. And then coming back into Jerusalem, they find the role of the Torah, the book of the law, they find again the law of which, about which they had forgotten, that they didn't know about. And Ezra starts to read from the law, and the Jews find their identity again there at the water gate, at the pool of Siloam, where the whole city would get its water, living water, water of life. That is, by the way, why Jerusalem is built where it is, because of that source of the Gihon, as it is called, the only water source in that whole region. The Jews refined the law and bless the temple again after many years. A bit as what happened to this church. You had been with this church already for quite a while, but somewhere you had forgotten to dedicate it. So now you finally said, let's do it now. It's like refinding the church, refinding the temple, understanding anew and afresh the meaning of that temple. 
Jesus entered a temple area and drove out all those who engaged in selling and buying there. The temple for the Jews is where God lives. In fact, in the holiest of the holiest, there is a Shekinah, as they call it, the cloud of God. And nobody should enter there, if not the high priest, but even him only once a year. He was allowed to enter into the curtain, go into the holiest of holy, where otherwise nobody would ever come. There was the Ark of the Covenant, there was the menorah, there were the candle with the seven branches. And he would pray in silence. A few words he said, and one of the words he was allowed to say was the name of God. No Jew is ever allowed to mention the name of God. But there in the holiest of the holiest, once a year, it is the high priest who is allowed to pronounce the name of God. Because God lives there. We also have this place within our churches. And in fact, in a sense, it's called exactly the same as in old Judaism. We have the tabernacle. At the moment, it's empty because we are going it to fill it again with the presence of the sacrament at the end of this holy Eucharist. But in the tabernacle, God for us is present. And that's why the tabernacle is called tabernacle. A Latin word meaning the tent, the tent of the covenant, the tent where God lives. Yes, this space is a holy space, and it is here where the people of God meets its Lord. And I was thinking about it when we were standing here outside, there were a few children I think they have disappeared or they're somewhere in the church. There were two boys the, in black and they had a white shirt with a nice butterfly. And there was also one or two girls in a white dress, like a little, a little bride they were. And they were standing there also. The boys like bridegroom, the girls like a little bride. Nicely dressed wanting to come into the church. A bit like we as people of God are, we are that bride coming into the church to meet the bridegroom, to meet Jesus himself, to celebrate with him, to be with him. Jesus entered the temple and drove out all those who engaged in selling and buying there. This is a holy space. This is not the space for political meetings. This is not the space for politicians to present their political programs or to shout at each other. This is the place of God only, where only He has a right to speak, where only He has a right to present his program. My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you are turning it into a den of thieves. How many times does that not happen in our churches? You celebrate the Eucharist, you receive the body and blood of God, and then immediately after the blessing, the problem starts. Accusations, mudslinging, shouting, because politicians take over. You turn it into a den of thieves, Jesus would say. It is time for us as a church to stop that abuse. The blind and the lame approached him in the temple. You see, the church is not about the powerful. The church is not about those who have it. 
But the church is very much about those who have not, about the blind, the lame, those who struggle, those who find that they cannot make it in society, those who are, as somebody would call it, the hustlers, those who have to fight and to struggle to make ends meet each and every day again. The church is first and foremost for all of them, the blind and the lame, the sinners, those who are aware that they need God's mercy in order to survive. And the chief priests and the scribes were not happy about it. And of course the chief priests and the scribes you may quietly and calmly apply it also to us here, as we are sitting here, including myself. Many times for us there is the temptation as priests and even as religious and bishops and as a nuncio to identify with power, glory and respect. Because isn't that what we are all looking for in one way or another? But by doing that, you always fall for the temptation. You fall for the temptation to crush those who have not, for the blind and the lame, for the humble and the sinner. And the children, they understood it well. Hosanna to the son of David, they called out. And for the children, of course, it was a game, because if you would read in the Gospel of Matthew, you would understand that Jesus had just come down from the Mount of Olives. It's Palm Sunday. And the children had been there at the mountain, and they had seen how the people had received Jesus, had been shouting at him, Hosanna bar David, son of David. Hosanna which means as much as, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, son of David, the children sang. But more or less as a game, as children are. You can imagine how they were running around Jesus. A bit like me when I go into a village in Kenya, being the only Muzungu in town. Children will come up, run around, look up to me, even a bit taller as they are, and they might even touch my skin, wanting to feel as if it doesn't come off my color. That is what Jesus is all about. Jesus is with the humble, is with the little. He doesn't care to be identified with them, even if they are children. Hosanna to the son of David. Do you not hear what they are saying? The scribes say. And Jesus answered, Yes, did you never read the text? Out of the mouth of infants and nurslings you have brought forth your praise. When I was a very young priest, I did a lot of teaching at schools, elementary schools. 16, 18 hours a week. And in the school break, there would be all these children playing. And children can make a lot of noise. There's a lot of laughter. And from a distance, it becomes like a kind of background noise. And here and there, you still hear the laughter in between of a child as they're playing. And we as Grown-ups, as parents, you can watch it and just innerly be very happy about it, seeing children play, see their joy, their simple joy, the joy they have with the simple things of life. They can around, they can run around with a tire, they can play with a few sticks, and they will just be happy, and they will laugh, and they will sing. And they will dance. Out of the mouth of infants and nurslings you have brought forth your praise. 
God invites us into his temple. God invites us into his house. God invites us into the holiest of holy where he lives. And he wants us to do away with all our desire for power, for respect, for money and for glory. And just to sit down as we do now in all our humility in who we truly are with our defects, with our inner struggles, with our, with our inner pains, with the painful secrets we drag with us, with the problems we are not able to resolve, with the pain and the tears that we try to hide behind our eyes. He is here for us, for the blind, for the lame, for the sinner, for little children, because out of the mouth of infants he prepares his praise. Amen. tutabaki kwa ukimya tuweze kutafakari maneno tuliyo pewa na baba askofu mkuu Kinachofuata sasa ni prayer of dedication and anointing. Na kwa hivyo tunaomba sote tuweze kusimama ili tuanze hafla hizo. Dearly, be dearly beloved, dearly beloved, let us pray to God the Almighty Father, who makes the hearts of the faithful into spiritual temples for himself. And may the supplication of the saints, our brothers and sisters, be joined with our voices. <laughs>
Mercifully accept our petitions, we pray, O oh Lord, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, so that this building, to be dedicated to your name, may be a house of salvation and grace, where the Christian people, gathering as one, will worship you in spirit and in truth, and be built up in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen depositing of the relics na tutakuwa na procession kama ifuatavyo altar service na current ppc executive na deacon na tunauliza choir iweze kutuongoza kuibu wa all the saints na haya ni mabaki ya mtakatifu yohane paulo wa pili alikuwa papa 
It is the relics of John Paul II, who was our Pope. na kwa sasa tutapata the prayer of dedication O God, sanctifier and ruler of your church, it is right for us to celebrate your name in joyful proclamation, for today your faithful people desire to dedicate to you solemnly and for all time this house of prayer, where they worship you devoutly, are instructed by the word, and are nourished by the sacraments. This house brings light to the mystery of the church, which Christ made holy by the shedding of his blood, so that he might be present her, so that he might present her to himself as a glorious bride, a virgin resplendent with the integrity of faith, a mother made fruitful by the power of the Spirit. Holy is the Church, the chosen vine of the Lord, whose branches fill the whole world, and whose tendrils, born on the wood of the cross, 
reach above upward to the kingdom of heaven. Blessed is the church, God's dwelling place within the human race, a holy temple built of living stones, standing upon the foundation of the apostles, with Christ Jesus, its chief cornerstone. Exalted is the church, a city set high on a mountain for all to see, resplendent to every eye, with the unfading light of the Lamb, and resounding with the sweet hymn of the saints. Therefore, O Lord, we beseech you, graciously pour forth from heaven your sanctifying power upon this church and upon this altar, to make this forever a holy place with a table always prepared for the sacrifice of Christ. Here, may the flood of divine grace overwhelm human offenses so that your children, Father, being dead to sin, may be reborn to heavenly life. Here, may, you fa may your faithful gather around the table of the altar, celebrate the memorial of the Paschal mystery, and be refreshed by the banquet of Christ's word and his body. Here, may the joyful offering of praise resound with human voices joined to the song of angels and unceasing prayer rise up to you for the salvation of the world. Here, may the poor find mercy, the oppressed attain true freedom, and all people be clothed with the dignity of your children until they come exultant to the Jerusalem which is above. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The anointing of the altar and the walls of the church. Na kwa hivyo, Baba Skofu Mko ata anoint altar na vile vile walls of the church. Kama tulivyo abiwa wana Mr. Memia, Nieti, we have the 12 pillars tukikubuka the 12 tribes of Israel na vile vile the 12 apostles na kwa hivyo dio maana atafanya hivyo May the Lord by his power sanctify this altar and this house which by our ministry will anoint so that as visible signs they may express the mystery of Christ and the church. Kwaya mnaweza tuongoza kwa yumbo wa uje roho mtakatifu. Oh, 
anoint the altar na walls kinachofuata sasa ni insertion of the altar tutafukuziwa ubani hasa altari na walls na kwa hivyo tuweze kumakinika kwa shughuli hizo Light our prayer let our prayer rise O Lord like incense in your sight and as this house is filled with pleasing fragrance so let your church be fragrant with the aroma of Christ Na kwa hivyo sasa atafukuzia ubani altare iliyo dedicated na walls na kwaya mtuongoze katika wimbo wa sala yetu ipai
kitakachofuata ni adornment and lighting of the altar and the church na tutaongozwa hapa na baba paroko na vile vile sister Caroline awe tayari ili tuweze kupamba altari yetu Baba Paroko atatumia ili aweze kumkabidhi baba askofu mkuu Let the light of Christ shine brightly in the church that all nations may attain the fullness of truth. Nakifanya hivyo kwa ya ituongozi na wimbo wa Walk in the Light.
tutaendelea na sadaka yetu na wale ambao wametayarishwa kufanya hivyo basi tuweze kufanya hivyo kwaya wimbo wa sadaka to do it. We have four uh, stations for offertory. So the people seated here, you use these two. You come uh, in front and you go the way the uh, CWA, uh, uh, CMA have led us. And those from this side, we do it on this side. And from the other side, they do it from, uh, from the left. And those outside, do not worry. You will have ashes come to you. Karibuni.
kwanza procession ya kuleta matega yetu uh, tukiongezwa na Detachment Code Dancers na offer yetu ni kama ilivyo ratbishwa hapo host and wine versus vestments other items zikuje nyuma ya hizo tuongozwe na kwaya na tusimame wote kwa procession
Lord, with joy we place on your altar these vessels with which we celebrate the sacrifice of Christ's new covenant. May they be sanctified, for in them the body and blood of Christ will be offered, consecrated, and received. Lord, when we celebrate the Christ's when we celebrate Christ's faultless sacrifice on earth, may we be renewed in strength and filled with your spirit until we join with your saints and your angels at your table in heaven. Glory and honor be to you forever and ever. Kama ulipeana, please come for the blessings from the Archbishop. Tafadhali. Kama uko ulipeana, ama uko nayo, tokelezea, tafadhali uweze kupata baraka saa hii. Kusabia vestments, hizi za misa. Asanteni sana. Kwa ya tuendele kwa wimbo.
Blessed, blessed are you, O Lord our God, for making your own Son the eternal High Priest of the New Covenant, and for choosing our own brothers to be the stewards of your mysteries. May your ministers who use these vestments, prepared for the celebration of the liturgy and set apart by your blessings, wear them with reverence and honor them with the holiness of their lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Zawadi zingine abazo zitafuata kwaya tuendelee kwa wimbo
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the gift of your joyful church be acceptable to you, O Lord, so that your people gathering in this holy house may come through these mysteries to everlasting salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to the right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. For you have made the whole world a temple of your glory, that your name might everywhere be, be extolled, yet you allow us to consecrate to you at places for the divine mysteries. And so we dedicate joyfully to your majesty this house of prayer built by human labor. Here is foreshadowed the mystery of the true temple, here is prefigured the heavenly Jerusalem. For you made the body of your Son, born of the tender virgin, 
the temple consecrated for to you, in which the fullness of the Godhead might dwell. You also established the church as a holy city, built upon the foundations of the apostles, with Jesus Christ himself the chief cornerstone. A city to be built of chosen stones, given life by the Spirit and bonded by charity, where for endless ages you will be all in all, and the light of Christ will shine on him forever. Though through him, O Lord, with all the angels and saints, we give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the, the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, 
that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your Church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint John the Evangelist, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, and we want the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope. Philip Archbishop, David Kamawi's auxiliary, Archbishop Van Megan and Bishop Binda here present, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, who you dedicate this church to you. May it be for your family a house of salvation and a place for the celebration of your heavenly sacraments. Here may the gospel of peace resound and the sacred mysteries be celebrated so that you are faithful, formed by the word of life and by divine grace on the pilgrim way through the earthly city, may merit to reach the eternal Jerusalem. There in your compassion of merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, may you give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, all my 
Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, to set to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I firmly believe that you are truly present in the Holy Eucharist. I confess that I am a poor sinner and I am not worthy to receive you. But you just say a word and I shall be healed and then I can receive you into my soul. I am sorry for all my sins because they have offended you and I resolve them and to commit them again. Have mercy and forgive me, Lord. I desire to receive you with my whole heart. Come into my poor soul and make my heart your abode. Amen. Kama tulivyo biwa na Baba Paroko, ni wakati wa kupokea, lakini kama alivyo tuelekeza wakati wa sadaka, tutafanya hivyo. There are four points here za kurisivu. Wakatoliki abo wa meditarisha kufanya hivyo. Masukofu wetu na mapadri wapo. Pale nje, mapadri watakuja mpaka uko nje. Na kwa hivyo hamna haja ya kuingia kwa kanisa. Mapadri tutapokea kwa altari kwa jia ya kuchovia. Karibuni wanakwaya.
Tunachofuata sasa kabla ya wibo wa shukrani tutakuwa na maadamano ya amani mpaka pale kwa tabanakulo tukiongozwa na baba skofu mkuu will have a solemn procession to the tabernacle akifika hapo sote tutapiga magoti na tuweze kukaa kimya mpaka wakati atampa baba paroko vifunguo vya tabana kulo kwa sasa tukiongozwa na litajist wetu tuweze kuwa na wakati huo Baba Baroko atakabiliwa 
kwa sasa kifunguo cha tabana kulo sala baada ya komunyo tukiogozwa na baba askofu mkuu Let us pray Received O Lord we pray instill in our minds an increase of your truth so that we may constantly adore you in your holy temple and glory in your sight with all the saints through Christ our Lord. Kinachofuata sasa ni blessing of the Adoration Chapel in Marian Grotto.
tutaongozwa na baba mheshimiwa baba paroko na hawa tu ndio watakaoenda altar sabs and incense current ppc executive cwa ni wawili tu outgoing and coming moderators cwa cna na cwa ni hivyo pmc mym yc yca to representative religious community to representative sacred heart devotional group tukianzia na josephat jero na hao wengine watano kwaya waliochaguliwa consecrating priests bishop wetu binda na nuncio wetu wapendwa waheshimiwa uh, wa kristo wenzetu taifa la mungu tuachwe hapa kama tumetulia tunaongozwa sasa na baba paroko atakaye tuelekeza kwenye tunaenda
tutamuomba sasa baba askofu mkuu aweze kutia ribon hii ili tuweze kuitumia uh, hii adoration chapel karibu With great joy, beloved brethren, our community has gathered to bless this chapel and this altar. Let us join in this rite with attentive spirit, asking God to look kindly on the church's offering that will be placed on this altar and make his people an eternal offering to himself. Blessed are you, Lord God, who accepted the sacrifice of your Christ offered on the, on the altar of the cross for the redemption of the human race and who, with the Father's love, gather your people at the table of the Lord to celebrate his memorial. Therefore, look, O Lord, upon this altar, which we have prepared for the celebration of your mysteries. Let it be the center of our praise and thanksgiving. Let it be the altar where we offer in mystery the sacrifice of Christ. Let it be the table where we break the bread of life and drink the cup of unity. Let it be the fountain from which flows an unending stream of salvation, so that as we come to Christ, the living stone, we may grow in him into a holy temple and offer on the altar of our heart the sacrifice of a life spent in holiness, pleasing and acceptable to the praise of your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
kwa sasa tutaandamana mpaka hapa juu kwa groto ambapo vile vile baba askofu mkuu na mheshimiwa baba askofu watatuongoza kwa kuweza kubariki groto hilo na vile vile commission of region of new members kwa hivyo kama tulivyokuja tuwe na msafara tena mpaka hapa juu Watakata tena ribbon ili tuweze kubarikiwa Kuroto hii ya mato mato
Lord God, we acknowledge your infinite glory and the abundance of your gifts. Before the foundation of the world, you appointed Christ the beginning and end of all things. You chose the Blessed Virgin Mary as the mother and companion of your son, the image and model of your church, the mother and advocate of our soul. She is the new Eve, through whom you restored what the first Eve had lost. She is the sister of Zion, who held in our heart the longings of the patriots and the hopes of Israel. She is the only servant who has in our Lord. In the fullness of time, she was delivered of the son of Jacob. The day is given from on high, your son, Jesus Christ. In our flesh, she was his mother, in our person, his disciple, in our love, his servant. Father, may your children who have provided this statue of Mary know her protection and trace in their hearts the pattern of our holiness. Bless them with faith and hope, love and humility. Bless them with strength in hardship and self-respect in poverty. And bless them with patience in adversity and uh, kind-heartedness in times of plenty. May they search for peace, try for justice, and realize your love as they pursue their journey through life towards your heavenly city. We are the blessed Virgin Mary in the sits as mother and reigns as queen. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Sun, 
terrible as an army is set in a battle. My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. He looks on his servant in my loneliness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel his servant, remembering his mercy, and mercy promised to our fathers to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without him. Antiphon, who is she that comes forth as the morning rising, fair as the moon, bright as the sun, terrible as the nun is set in God's world. O Mary, conceived without sin, let us pray. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, our mediator with the Father, who have been pleased to appoint us, may we stop to receive all of them through her. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Commission the Legion of Mary in this parish and all the members who are going to go to this Legion may find through the Virgin Mary grace and mercy with God and that the love they receive in their spread among the others members of this parish and beyond. We ask this from Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A blessing of the wellspring, the yes, St. John the Evangelist. Kwa hivyo, kama tulipi wa damana, kitamanizia. Yes, tukonje kwanza mapatri wapite, alafu sisi mingine, tuta adamana nyuma. Jina Maria, injena tukufu,
Tutamwalika baba askofu aweze kutubarikia well spring hii ya St Joseph St John Evangelist Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the crown and glory of all the saints, and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, we bless you for you alone are holy, and because you have compassion for sinners, you send into the world your Son Jesus Christ, the only and perfecter of holiness. He sent the Holy Spirit to sustain His newborn church, a voice that teaches us the secrets of holiness, a breeze that sentences and refreshes, a fire that sears our hearts in love, the seed of God that yields the harvest of grace. Today we praise you for the gift of the Spirit you bestowed on St. John the Evangelist, our patron saint, in whose honor we dedicate this statue and wellspring. May we follow in the footsteps of the Lord, keeping before us the example of St. John the Evangelist and grow to a maturity measured not by nature, but by the fullness of Christ. May we proclaim his gospel by word and deed, and shouldering our crosses daily, expand ourselves for others in your service. As we carry out our earthly duties, May we be filled with the Spirit of Christ and keep our eyes fixed on the glories of heaven, where you, the Father, receive those who will reign with your Son forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on us in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses.
signing of the certificate what a sign cheti kwa sasa Huyo ni baba paroko wetu aki weka signature sana 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 Na mwisho kabisa nilita gist wetu wa jimbo kule tuna Nairobi for the Bernard Kafio tumpigie makofi sana basi kwa sasa kabla sija mpasha MC mwenzangu nataka kuchukua fursa hii kusema asante sana kwenu na vile vile kwa uh, media zetu tuko na Captain TV wapigiene makofi sana 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 na kabla ya hiyo baba paroko anatuonyesha certificate yetu kusema hili kanisa sasa ni dedicated already tumpigie makofi sana sana padre wetu tuko na Radio Maria Radio Maria Kenya bado ilikuwa inapeperusha makofi kwao sana na anayeongea na nyinyi huyo die director wa Radio Maria Kenya makofi kwake sana tuko na Supreme Media wapigieni makofi sana 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 kwa sasa na mpisha mwenzangu uh, MC atuelekeze upande wa pili Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati Kwaya Baba asante Baba Tusimame Asante Asante sana. I think now we have a very brief program. Uh, we know it's taken quite a bit of some time and we have a few speeches and the first to give us the speech will be Peterson, chairman of the development committee and as he comes I want to thank his excellency most sincerely for coming to join us and also Bishop Binda for coming to also co celebrate and assist the the in the dedication so over to you peterson very briefly i promised 20 minutes for this sanction okay uh, god is good and all the time uh, thank you so much i'm here representing the development committee and past uh, we want to thank God as a development committee for guiding us throughout from conception to implementation. Uh, the development that you see is the result of teamwork. Uh, the main engine of this team is the development committee who developed the plans and uh, implemented them. If you have any development committee members, kindly just stand up and wave. I know you are around somewhere. Development committee members, be recognized. Okay. Uh, we also had the Harambe committee who helped us in raising the funds. We had the plans, but we had to get the funds. Well, we had plans, but we had to get funds, which you gave us, but through the Harambe committee. Members of the Harambe committee, 
kindly. I know you are many. Feel appreciated, Asanteni. So there are many individuals and organizations who contributed uh, towards the success of these projects. When I mean the project is the, uh, the Adoption Chapel, the Marian Grotto, the extension of the church, including the nursing mother's section, and the cafeteria there, the CWA shop, all those. Uh, I want to recognize the representatives from uh, some of the companies that got involved in these projects. You just stand where you are and you wave, so I'll call them very quickly. Ginseng Enterprises, representatives here, you can stand. Then we have All Services Limited, Bonamushangi, I think he's behind the mirror there, there he is. Hmm. You have Touch of Class. Touch of Class are the ones who designed the chapel, all that marble work. Edith, where are you? Yeah. Uh, we have the Marian Grotto that you saw, a gentleman called Mashira. Celine Enterprises, Mashira, there he is. Okay. Uh, there's a biogreen that I forgot to mention, built by Marvin. George, unfortunately, is not here, but we appreciate him. Mm. We have Oxalis, some, our mechanical and electrical engineers who helped us, Oxalis Limited. If you are here, you can stand. Oxalis, recognize you. Uh, engineer Njeru, are you around? That's our structural engineer. He helped us very, very much throughout and is still helping us. Uh, uh, design emphasis at Bonamuli and Arthur, where are you? Behind the mirror there. Uh, you saw in the grotto, those nice pictures on the sides, those were done by Gravity Engineering. Uh, Bonamoshiri, are you around? You can wave. Uh, we have our clock of, clock of clocks who was always here. Bon David Karuga, are you here? Stand up. Must be somewhere busy. Uh, special thanks to Buonamboro. He was part of the development committee. Uh, sorry, the one of our guests of honors in the Harambe and has been with us throughout. Even if he's not a member of the development committee, he has been with us and contributing immensely, both in kind, uh, like the, in the nursing mothers, he gave us a baby coat there. So, Bonamboro, Bonamboro, there he is. Okay, now, uh, there are many people who contributed, and if I didn't mention some companies, kindly forgive me and feel appreciated. Now, in a special way, I just want to appreciate some few individuals, starting with our own parish priest, Father Patrick. Uh, where are you? <laughs> I, I can assure you, without him, all this would not have happened. He pushed through COVID, encouraged us, and pushed us. He is so passionate about this, and without him, nothing would have happened. Thank you, Sarah. Okay. Uh, behind him was the PPC, led by our very able Bwaleke. Huh? Without you, Bwaleke had a lot of faith in us. Yeah. Your faith in us was very reassuring. Thank you so much. Believed in us that we could deliver. Uh, there are two individuals. Now, when Mzememia, the Memia, I think he gave a speech outside there. Where Mzememia? Yes. <laughs> We are new in the development committee, we are like three years. So when he handed over the mantle to us, uh, we were some new members. And I want to appreciate these two members who have given us services from the beginning to now. Number one is our lead consultant, architect Rita. Where are you? Architect Rita. I saw her here earlier. Where are you? Oh, she's outside. Ah, yeah. Then we have QS Wamai. Ah, there is Rita. <laughs> Rita and Wamai. Where is QS Wamai? Ah, there he is behind the glass. That gentleman. Now, those two individuals have burned the midnight oil. They have been with us throughout from the beginning. The QS through the tendering processes, evaluation, all the quantities. Rita, what you saw, the chapel and the grotto, the structure was designed by her. We had the idea. She brought it to reality. Okay. So, those two, and they gave us their services up to today and for free. So 
appreciate it. Uh, like I said, many more individuals contributed in one or the other. Asante ni sana. Now, we as a team have strived to do our best. Of course, there are always areas of improvement, and uh, as always, we welcome your suggestion. Most of you have come to us with various suggestions, and don't feel that your suggestion is small or not mechanical. Or not. Always give, because you never know how far your small suggestion goes towards adding value to our project. So we really appreciate all the comments that you've given us, encouraging words. Thank you, thank you so much. Now finally, this is a very big deal for us as a development committee. Uh, it's not every day that you are tasked with building the church of God. Uh, this opportunity comes to very few. So we, as a development committee, we feel humbled, privileged, and honored by you giving us the opportunity to serve you. You, our brothers and sisters, who are the Church of Christ. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Peterson. And uh, next is the moderator, uh, Mr. Aleke. Uh, Aleke is the outgoing moderator for the parish, and uh, he'll go give his remarks and also move a vote of thanks. His Excellency Marian van Megan, Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan, the Right Reverend John Binda, Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Lodwa, Father, Father Dominic, the head of the Spiritual Community in Kenya, Father Omondi, the Dean of Western Deanery uh, Nairobi Archdiocese, the clergy who are here, priests, deacons, and the nuns, and fellow parishioners, to Sylvia So Christo. I stand here on behalf of all parishioners to express a profound gratitude, first of all, to the Almighty God for enabling this day to take place. The dedication of this church today is a, a culmination of a process that began more than 20 years ago when the first foundation stone was laid to the, on the, for this church. It's a process that uh, many people have participated and parishioners have sacrificed immensely. But we are happy that today, God, we've seen the fruits of our labor. I want to thank all those people right from the first day I want to thank all people who have served as parish priests in this, in this parish, starting with Father Kitira, I think it was the fifth priest here, Father, Father Gabriel Kitira, then Father George Njoroge, who was the sixth priest who served in this parish. <laughs> then Father Dominic Aduru, who was the seventh priest who is past. <laughs> and our current fa father, Father Mwania. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> It is the vision of these people, as well as the parish, par parish pastoral council members, that has resulted in what we see today. Today, we have also commissioned our, our Adoration Chapel and Marian Grotto. These two projects were undertaken at a rather difficult time in this country. We had COVID, most people had seen their, club, their incomes plummet, but notwithstanding that, these two, two projects took place. I want to single out two people who, in my view, stand out as who contributed immensely to the success of this project. I want to single out Father Mwania. I mean, if you know somebody who, once he has a vision, he'll go for it and surmount any obstacles of the way, Father Mwania is such an example of something. <laughs> then I want to thank the young man who spoke here before me, Peterson Chege. That man has energy. He is tireless. <laughs> when I was in school, I was taught a word called indefatigable. That man is indefatigable. <laughs> Thank you very much, Patterson Chege. But of course, behind them, you had the, the Harambe Committee. You, behind them, you had the Finance Council. Behind them, you had the PPC. All the members of those committees contributed immensely to what we have seen today. Talking to a few people before the, this uh, dedication, Many, like me, had not witnessed any dedication of a church. 
Some actually had, didn't even know that uh, these things happened. So I think we are lucky that today we have witnessed something <laughs> that for most people is really the one and a lifetime event. Now lastly, or second to last, I want to thank the fellow PPC members, our Vice Chair, uh, Mr. Ogmujiri, our, uh, our Secretary, Mr. Festas Musau, our Assistant Secretary, uh, Kate Mumbi, and our Treasurer, uh, Isaboke Nanduku. I don't know if she's here, she was here before. These people have worked very hard, and they had the honor of serving for seven years. Actually, our term ended last year, but uh, thanks to the, 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 the Archbishop of the Dust of, of, of Nairobi, we got an extra year because we did not want our elections to coincide with the national elections. That's why we served for, for, for seven years. But I thank these ladies and gentlemen for the hard work and the sacrifice that they made to get us to where we are today. I now want to welcome the incoming team led by Anthony Ndegwa. It's a team full of energy, and I'm sure they'll take this parish to greater heights. Ladies and fellow parishioners, thank you very much for all that you have done, and let us continue with that spirit. Asante sana. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Aleke. And uh, I think now this is my last chance to be here. So I'll be inviting Father, the parish priest, so that he can invite the other uh, the bishops for the events. And so as myself and my family, we very grateful. And I don't know whether my son said today was this. Thank you. Your Excellency, Your Lordship Bishop um, Binda, our Superior Father Dominic, dear priests, religious men and women, dear us. I'm very excited, I'm very happy. Today is a very special day for all of us and um, I just want to uh, say it by those who have spoken uh, uh, it's a, that we are a grand and it's a day we shall never for, uh, forget because um, it is the day we have had our church officially dedicated. We have opened and blessed our projects that we have been working on for the last two years. Uh, somebody was asking me why we did not uh, bless the ablution block because that was actually the very first building that we did it. And I was told maybe there is no right for it. I will ask, I will consult the liturgist later on to know whether there is a right for blessing the ablution block. But it was among the first projects we started two years ago. And that is, of course, through the efforts of all of you, all parishioners, uh, may you uh, feel appreciated. I thank very specially uh, the Nuncio for accepting uh, to, to be with us. I remember when the Nuncio was here some, uh, two years ago to, uh, to lay the foundation for the chapel. Uh, I remember he whispered to me that when that chapel is over, I want to come and see it. Maybe he, didn't tell, maybe he didn't think that he would come to bless it. But then when it was ready, I went to him and requested if he could come and bless it. Um, the dedication of the church was an, a later development. Originally, it was only to open the, the, the chapel and, and the Marian Grotto. So, Your Excellency, thank you very much for always finding time uh, for us. Of course, and I also thank Bishop Binda, our friend. He has always been uh, around whenever we need him. Uh, thank you. He's, uh, he's, he's my confrere, and we are very happy that he also decided to leave everything to come and be with us uh, today. I want to thank uh, Father Dominic. Uh, Father Dominic uh, 
is our superior. May you wave to the parishioners. Um, is, a superior, is our superior in the, uh, of the spiritons in Kenya and South Sudan. He is also my immediate uh, uh, predecessor. He was the parish priest here before I took over, and now he's here in those two capacities as a, as a former parish priest and also as a superior. And in a way, uh, Father Dominic's presence here is important because he re is representing the the spirit and family. The spirit and family and this parish are uh, very much connected because uh, when this parish was started some years back, the parish did not have land to have a parish. And uh, I remember then they had to request the Holy Ghost Fathers, the Spiritans, to give them a land to build a, a church. And uh, that is how these two acres were donated by the Spiritans for the parish to build. So, thank you, Father Dominic, and thank you to the congregation for that uh, act of generosity. Uh, we, I also want to thank and uh, recognize in a special way, they have been recognized, the parish priests uh, who have uh, worked here. Um, in absentia, Father Simon Lobon, uh, he was not able to be with us. In absentia, Father Tom MacDonald, he got the information, but he's back in Ireland. We know he's among the founders of this parish. Uh, in absentia, Father Gregory Malia from Tanzania. He was invited. He could not come. But in a very special way, I want to acknowledge the presence of Father Gabriel Kitira. <laughs> Father Gabriel Kitira from Tanzania, a spiritan, is among the father, the, the, the team that has worked here as a parish priest. So, and uh, it was very, uh, you know, it was kind to accept my invitation, and he has come also to witness to the dedication of the church. Thank you, Father, and greetings to Tanzania. Father George Jeroge, here, uh, yes, so he's also among the very uh, first, uh, I mean, I think number four there of the parish priests here, and I think the longest uh, serving, I think he was the longest serving parish priest. Um, Father Dominic was almost there. But uh, for the judge, uh, was the longest. And of course, for the Dominic Kathuru, uh, who is also our superior, thank you very much for the foundation you laid in this parish. Without you and the team, the leadership team, we would be here. And uh, sometimes when we come newly and we find already established structures, we forget uh, to recognize and acknowledge those who laid those foundations. Thank you, thank you very much. It was certainly a work with enormous challenges and sacrifices to get this parish started and propelled to where it is today. Uh, may God bless you. I also thank the lay leadership from the very beginning to the to present, some of whom are still alive and others are with the Lord for selfless dedication and generosity of time and resources to see our parish start from nothing to one of the most accomplished and admired parishes in the Archdiocese of Nairobi and in Kenya at large. May God bless and reward you for your great sacrifice. Uh, and in a very special way, allow me uh, to acknowledge some of these. They, it was a great sacrifice. Mr. Memia, please, can you be upstanding? Uh, Mr. Memia and uh, uh, Mr. Gasheru, in case you are somewhere in, please, may you uh, show us Ms., uh, Mr. Gasheru, Mrs. Gasheru, Mrs. Simiu, uh, all these uh, people were, and Mrs. Anjuri, and many others. Let me not mention names so that I don't leave anyone. But these are people who really played a very great role. I remember one of the stories they tell us is that when they were looking for land to build this church, they had to drive all the way to Tanzania to go and meet the superior of the Holy Ghost fathers then, residing in Tanzania, to beg for a piece of land. And God gave them a safe journey to Tanzania and to come back. And the good news is that I think they came back with land. Uh, so thank you, thank you very much. 
uh, for that we recognize you. So I want also to um, recognize in a special way the priests with whom I, we work with uh, in this parish, Father uh, Ernest and Father Lawrence, wherever you are, please stand. Uh, so there are priests who serve here, we work together, we have worked together, and uh, uh, we've been... Oh yes, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Father Ernest and Father Lawrence. And even those priests who have, been work, who have worked here before, I saw Father Robert, Father Lawrence, I mean Father uh, Albanas, they, they are here, and there is Father Moticia John, they have come, we thank them, and we appreciate them. Um, let me recognize the NCBA Bank. The NCBA Bank is with us, has been a, a partner with us all through, and today they are here. And later on, there is a beautiful cake. has been also a, a wonderful We, uh, we recognize them. A very special thanks to the planning committee for this event. Was the event wonderful? Planning committee led by Sarah Kaminja and Shiku Kimani and all the team, they did a great job. We will have uh, a time to have lunch with them to thank them. Thank you very much, planning uh, uh, committee. Uh, and all the visitors, we have visitors uh, from uh, far and, uh, and, and wide who have come to be with us. Please feel appreciated and feel recognized. So with what we have today, we may say that we have what it takes as far as the infrastructural development is concerned. I pray and urge that we use these spiritual structures to grow in faith. The inauguration of a new devotion within our parish, the devotion of Ledge of Mary, is a step in the right direction of making sure that we have many such devotions to help nature, nurture the faith of our parishioners. I thank all those who have enrolled and members of this devotion, and I pray that after this official inauguration, you will get the momentum to start and recruit many more parishioners to be part of that very uh, important devo uh, devotion. Maybe as I conclude, there's one theme that I, I think I forgot to recognize. I want to recognize the priests of the Western Deanery with whom we work, led by our Ebo Dean, uh, Father Omondi. Can you wave these people? <laughs> Father, Father Omondi, sometimes he teases me, he tells me, when Regina Chelly talks, St. John should keep quiet. So I don't know what he will, he will tell me today. And other priests from the Western Deanery here present, thank you. Thank you very much for being uh, here with us. Now, with those few uh, remarks, I want to remind that uh, there is lunch for everyone. Um, I think the MC did not mention that, so please uh, don't leave the lunch for priests and religious and our visitors. Uh, with Onuncio and Bishop and all, uh, yes, we, we will uh, convene at the Father's house uh, for, for lunch. Uh, we have um, prepared a gift for our bishops, uh, uh, especially for our visitors, and I want just, uh, just a few of them allow me to hand over these gifts so that when I finish, I'll just be inviting Bishop Mbinda uh, uh, to, to no, first of all, Father Dominic to greet you as our superior. Then, Father Dominic, uh, Father, uh, you will invite the bishop, Binda, just to say a word and to greet us. And finally, the nuncio will conclude. So, please, those gifts, if they are near, so that we can hand over to, uh, to our visitors. Please let them come. 
As they come, please just uh, choir, karuibo, kardogo. Just uh, handing over a few gifts to our uh, to our guests. Just one stanza. so much our choir, our wonderful choir. They have animated us so well as Sandeni Sana. Now we have a gift for His Excellency Most Reverend Obatus Mateus Van, uh, Maria Van Megan, our nuncio and main celebrant. Today I will ask Father Omondi, our dean, to please present that gift. Thank you very much. And then we have a gift for a gift for Right Reverend Bishop John Binda. Karibu Poke na Ntamwamba Paroko Aliye serve the longest year Father Jaroge to hand over that gift. And then we have a gift for Father Dominic Aduru, our uh, uh, superior, and uh, the, my predecessor, uh, parish priest here at St. John. And I will ask Father Gabriel Kitira, uh, who is among the first uh, uh, parish priest here, to hand over that gift. Anyway, we have one more gift, and this gift is, um, was made for uh, our very own, the, um, our Archbishop, uh, Philip Agnolo, who had uh, indicated that he would come after he finishes his ordin ordination at the SMA, now that he is not uh, around. I will ask the liturgist, our liturgist today, because he's very close to him, so that he can receive it on his behalf and make sure that, sure that uh, the Archbishop will get this gift. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Assisted by the commentator, the liturgical commentator, our Willie. Tunagiki watakikisha hiyo imefika eh asante asante sana and um, one of the one of our parishioners and uh, he has been mentioned here who did uh, who has helped us a lot in the in the project he said that uh, now that the nuncio is coming he wants to make him a, a beautiful coffee table i don't know whether it's a coffee table um, so I think uh, uh, this is, he didn't want me to mention his name, but he's Mr. Mburu and family. 
he has made a very special coffee table for the for uh, the nuncio. And um, okay, uh, I want to ask Bishop Binda to present this uh, beautiful <laughs> coffee table <laughs> to the nuncio. Thank you, thank you very much. You want to show? Thank you very much. Now, with those uh, few words, uh, let me not keep you for long. Uh, let me invite Father Dominic to greet us on behalf of the Spiritans and all the priests here present, and he will invite Bishop Binder, and then finally the nuncio will come to say maybe a word and bless us before we get out of the church. Your Excellency, uh the Apostolic Nuncio, Van Megan, Your Lordship, uh, John Binder, uh, Bishop of Lodwa, Paroco uh, of this uh, parish, Father Patrick. All of us, uh, the clergy gathered here, religious, and my good people of God, uh, parishioners of St. John the Evangelist, and other guests who have come in for this great occasion, to Msifu Yesu Christo. I am so happy today, and I'll tell you why I'm very happy today. When I was here as a parish priest, uh, many people used to come to me and tell me, we want a uh, adoration chapel. We want a grotto. But at that time, there were other pressing needs. I remember there was a time the vehicles would come here, they would get stuck, and it was very difficult for people to walk around here, especially the ladies with their shoes. <laughs> so I would tell my parishioners, please, please, for now, let us not do that, let us do something else. So today, I am so happy that what I used to promise people that it will come. There will be a time when we shall have Adoration Chapel, there will be a grotto. That that time has come, it has come to pass. So I thank you uh, very much, my dear parishioners, my dear Christians, and many other people who participated in this project. Uh, names have been mentioned. We are all very happy. I have gone to a few places. I have seen adoration chapels and grottos. I can tell you, I, ours here is one of the best, if it is not the best. <laughs> so just to say thanks a lot, everyone. The cooperation you have shown to uh, our clergy, the, the priest, the spirit and priest who work here, we appreciate very much that cooperation. Let us continue in that spirit. The church building is never finished. Very soon you will discover there is another need. Then again you do that. So the church will continue to grow and to be built so that we can glorify God and be happy, increase in faith in this beautiful church, this beautiful parish of St. John the Evangelist. To see of Christ. So now I will invite uh, our bishop. For those who don't know, he's uh, the first uh, Kenyan spirit and bishop. Spirit and bishop. So, Karibu Sana, Bishop John Binda. Karibu. Your yeah, Excellency, Bad Van Megan, the Apostolic Nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan, and for the sake of time or protocols observed, your dignities are highly magnified. God is good all the time. Since I received the message of invitation to come and grace this occasion, I was so much excited. And I have been excited until this morning. 
I continued being excited until I saw us, led by His Excellency, going around blessing everywhere after the dedication. And I almost felt delighted. And during that time of delight, because I realized that my excitement was changing to delightment, I felt like sighing like Jesus, it is finished. It is done. You have done it, and we have done our part. Congratulations, everybody. I'm so humbled, as Father Dominic was saying, it's not a speculation. I think I've been to many of the adoration chapels around Kenya, and I was here. He's the best. I want to say this without fear of contradiction, and I want to congratulate and appreciate each one of you, men and women, young men and women, and children, youth, all those who have participated in the development of the infrastructure that has been dedicated and blessed today. May God bless you abundantly. May you never lack. May you always have plenty, even excess to give more. May He always accompany you in your works and ministries. Finally, it is good to have this wonderful infrastructure. And when I, we, we began the procession here and we talked about the dedication of the church, I remembered the story of Moses and the burning bush. And when he was there, God spoke to him and he told Moses, remove your shoes for the place you are stepping is holy ground. So through the act of dedication, and blessings, we are very lucky to have holy grounds. And as the work was continuing, the celebration of the Eucharist was continuing, I was also pondering in my heart how wonderful is it to have a dedicated church? How wonderful is it to have a blessed adoration chapel, a grotto, all of them done on one day. And I said, we can have all these things, but we, be, we, we, we forget even the basics. My mind clinged to what I learned when I was in Sunday school. Respect for holy places respect, total respect to holy places. And just to remind each one of us, because these places have been dedicated and blessed, that we go to our nice traditional Catholic ways of honoring our places. The holy places should be approached with decorum. And if we approach other places with decorum, which is appropriate to those places, what about a place where God speaks to us and is waiting for us and reminds us all the time the place we are standing in is holy ground. Just to remind you, when you come to these places, if you are strong like me, just genuflect. Greet Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, honor his presence, and with humility he will reach out to you. If you cannot kneel, just genuflect with respect. And this will take us a long way to teach the young ones. I saw the young ones, we are so excited. I saw some of them coming in front here to say hi and to receive blessings on this auspicious occasion. Let us not let them down. Let us lead them by example. And I think when we do this, 
one of the days in the future we will gather here to say to the Lord we did it we did it right for ourselves and for the future generations amen amen so for those few words congratulations once more may God bless us abundantly and may we use these places as holy grounds where we encounter God and deepen our faith God bless you and now with great respect I take this moment uh, to invite His Excellency our Nuncio to Kenya and South Sudan to give us his final address and final blessings. Most welcome, Your Excellency. Dear Bishop of Lodbar, Right Reverend John Binda, Father Dominic, the Provincial of the Spiritans, Father Patrick here, the parish priests, other priests here present, religious men and women, people of God, Tumsifu Jesu Christo, Milena, Milena, Amina. It's just getting late, man. <laughs> and I can see these boys and girls here, our older boys, they think they smell the food. <laughs> and I smell it as well. But for, before saying anything, otherwise I forget, thank you very much, you choir. You have been singing your lungs out, and you have been singing all the time, and having myself in the choir, I know it can be quite exhausting, but you did very well. Thank you very much for that, really. Without a good choir, a parish cannot survive. You are backbone of the, pipe, of the choir. Mm -hmm. And the same is true, by the way, for our altar boys and girls. Very important. Without you, we wouldn't even be able to celebrate this kind of liturgy because we would have hands, we wouldn't, wouldn't have enough hands and feet to do it all because you have seen this kind of liturgy. It's very complicated. Even for an archbishop, it is complicated, you know? It's like, because as somebody was saying, we do, we do not do this every day. This is very special. And at the same time, it is very beautiful. All these signs of the water, of the chrism, of the light. As I mentioned a bit in the sermon and was also mentioned here by others, you feel how God is taking possession of that church. This is the place where God dwells. Thank you very much for having been here today and to celebrate with us here this beautiful, beautiful celebration, this beautiful liturgy in which God makes us feel his presence. Of course, all this would not have happened, and it was mentioned here already before, without our parish priest, Father Patrick. And I know that he studied in Germany. And uh, I myself, I'm from that corner of the world. And I've seen in the way he does things and the way he's reacting was even, he was organizing things dur during the liturgy. You go here, you go there. Typically German, by the way. <laughs> In, in German, there's a word for it. You call it Gründlichkeit, yeah? which means as much as thoroughness. You know, he's very thorough. He wants to do it all from A to Z, and nothing should miss. And that is a good thing about a good parish, that he's dedicated, that he wants to do everything precisely and good and into small detail. You'd leave nothing to coincidence. Everything should move like the liturgy of today. Thank you once again, boys and girls, and men, but well, you're not all boys and girls, no. And also men for, for, for the way you have prepared this and practiced this and were present and helped so that it worked like clockwork. Also very much, yes, this blessing of the sacrament of the, of the, of the Adoration Chapel and of the Grotto. I said here to Bishop Binda, who by the way is like a friend to me, because he was my neighbor for a while down there at St. Austin. I said, like, when we were walking out, you will see, this will develop into a shrine. It's too beautiful for one parish only. <laughs> and that is all, as people already said, because you all work together. 
was not just a few people who did this, but you all put your shoulders on it, everybody contributed, everybody contributed also his talents, and something really very beautiful came out of it, something to be very proud of. And I'm pretty sure that every now and then, that cross already my head, I myself will come here to pray every now and then at the Adoration Chapel. Because, without any doubt, this is the best chapel in town. So once again, thank you very much for having been here today to celebrate with us this beautiful liturgy in which Christ is present. You know, as a nuncio, I can say that what a beautiful church we have as a church, you know? It is proud to be, a, it's good to be a Catholic. You're proud to be a Catholic. And if you celebrate a liturgy like today, you pray like today, you feel the truth is here. God is here in our Catholic Church. And the Virgin Mary, yes, with her motherly care, she takes us by the hand like little child every time again, back to our church. Uh, that is the beauty of Catholicism. Other churches, they may sing, they might dance, they might shout, but we have Jesus Christ and the sacraments. God is present here. Thank you very much. Kwa sasa tutasimama wote kwa baraka ya mwisho. We come to God's blessings. The Lord be with you. Bow your head for God's blessing. May God, the Lord of heaven and earth, who has gathered you today for the dedication of this church, make you abound in heavenly blessings. Amen. May God, who has willed that all his scattered children be gathered in his Son, grant that you become his temple and the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. May you be made thoroughly clean, so that God may dwell within you, and you may possess with all the saints the inheritance of eternal happiness. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go hope the masses in it.
You are watching Capuchin TV. For any complaints, comments, or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember to keep a copy of your communication with us. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. I would like to appreciate the Capuchin TV. We are very, very grateful. And we always encourage people of goodwill, our Christians, to continue supporting the Capuchin TV. The only Catholic TV. The only one in Kenya. Imagine, the only one. So let us support them. They cover most of our masses here at the Basilica. So as individuals, as groups, let us support uh, Caption TV because they continue uh, reaching out, reaching out to the people of God, wherever they are, to be more and more uh, nourished uh, spiritually. So Caption TV, thank you. May God bless your ministry. Tuendele kufanya kazi, baby number 5106789. Account name Caps TV. Welcome to Trust, Compassionate, House of Holistic Healing, Immaculate Heart of Mary, Cycle Spiritual Counseling Center. We are located along Tandala Road, via Bogani Road, near J. Quat, Campus Karen. We offer family and marriage counseling, group counseling, individual counseling, youth counseling addiction counseling we have psychosocial training we also offer retreats we have a hall that can be used for seminars and workshops and we also have accommodation we welcome all from far and near because the accommodation we offer you will have a bed to rest and food to nourish yourself Welcome all, because our prices are so affordable. You can reach us on, as I said, Tandala Road, via Bogani Road, near Jaquant, current campus. You can call us. Our email is counselingc442 at gmail.com. Tunawakaribisha nyote. Hii ni nyumba ambayo mutaweza kupona kiroho na kimwili. Mwakaribisha nyote kwa Immaculate Heart Psycho Spiritual Counseling Center, Karen. Karibu.
Families come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. There's no definition for people you love. Once a family, always a family. On 15th May, we mark the International Day of Families. This is a day when we pause and focus on the need for children to grow up in strong families so that they thrive and live to be the best versions of themselves. We bring the child at the center and a bringing of every child will be healthier. Not only f uh, strengthening families, but also making sure that early childhood development is also taken care of as we work with different uh, congregations uh, of sisters and other partners to make sure that early childhood development programs are well integrated into our families. As we mark the International Day of Families, this Monday on the 15th of May 2023, Capuchin TV brings you an exclusive interview about issues impacting families globally, as well as raising awareness of the importance and the value of the family. Remember that families are the foundation of the society. Family under